Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm a year two biomedical science student studying under the School of Life Science and Chemical Technologies. So today you're watching, of course, NT, where I'm going to be taking you through of what's been like a day in my life as a biomedical science student. The time now is about 7.05 and I'm going off to school. Our first lesson of the day is biochemistry and it will be a practical lesson, so I'll be in the lab. This module integrates biological and chemical concepts as they relate to biochemistry and biochemical disorders. This module prepares us to work in biochemical industries and research institutions and covers the three major areas of protein chemistry, enzymology and metabolism. So I'm here with my biochemistry lecturer, Dr. Sujit. Thank you, Dr. Sujit, for joining me in the call today. So Dr. Sujit, I have some questions for you regarding biochemistry. Firstly, how can biochemistry be applied in internships? Okay, for internships, uh, if you're performing things like enzyme assays, you learn that in the biochemistry module itself, so it's directly applicable. But also you learn a lot of transferable skills like data analysis, uh, communication skills. These are all important for your internships. So if you do biochemistry, all these skills are transferable to different areas. That sounds great. Can you suggest some career paths for students who might also be interested in biochemistry? Sure, there are many career paths you can take. You can become like a forensic scientist, analytical chemist, uh, you can then become a biomedical scientist, you can even become a data analyst. So there are quite a few jobs you can do. Thank you so much for joining me in the call. No worries. So right now we're doing a molecular biology and bioinformatics practical. Basically what we'll be learning is gene expression, gene mutations, as well as having hands-on experiments in DNA repair mechanisms. In so addition, we're going to be learning more about recombinant DNA technology, uh, as well as mole molecular techniques that will be really useful for our internships in year 3. Since I have some time now after my last lesson, I'm just going to be doing some revision and finishing up my practical reports. The place where I'm at now is called Our Space, which is an open area for students to use if they want to find a place to study or discuss their projects with their teammates. Now, you must be wondering what are some of the reasons I have that made me choose to go into biomedical science. My previous ambition was actually to be a researcher, but I'm currently eyeing to be a hospital administrator as I work better around people and would like to contribute to the healthcare sector in Singapore. So my favourite module in previous semesters was Cell Culture and Bioprocess Engineering during Year 2 Semester 1, where I got to feel like an actual researcher culturing cells and working with really advanced equipments in the lab. So some tips for O-level students that I have is that if you're thinking of learning biochemistry after your O-levels, some subjects that might be helpful are definitely your biology and chemistry as you'll be learning more in-depth topics covering the basis of DNA and enzymes. Hence, they'll be really important so that's it. I hope you enjoy a day in my life. Tell us more in the comments down below which other courses do you want to see or which part of my course actually intrigue you.